right, it's time to square the vise on the table. Squaring the vise is taking the vise and making sure that this stationary jaw is lined up with the back and forth motion of the table. That way when we go to machine, the piece of work that we're holding in here will be getting machined accurately. So to do that, we start um, down here at this tab. Now I got my flashlight in here, hopefully give us enough light to show what I'm trying to talk about. So the first thing we want to do is we want to eyeball and make sure, I'm going to get this out of there for a second so you can see, but I want to eye, eyeball this face of the vise against that back face of the T-slot. So you can either look straight down on it or you can get your finger in there and get it lined up. Okay, so that back face is now lined up with that face. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to snug down this bolt. Now snugging, um, snug is hard to describe. Snug is a degree of tightness that does not completely restrict movement. However, it is going to give us some resistance. So now, just going to give that wrench a little pull, and this side is snug. Now I'm going to do the same thing to the opposite side. Now I have to actually hit it with my hand to get this side to lined up because I didn't line it up before I uh, snug down this side. All right, that side stays finger tight. I'm not snugging that side. Very important. Snug, loose. Okay, now we take our mag base with our test indicator on it and we mount it to the machine. What we want to do is we want to mount it, put a little more tension on that, right on the bottom of the ram. There we go. So the mag base is holding it there. And then we're going to bring the indicator and we're going to line it up with the face of our vice jaw. Now we're going to start with the side of our vice jaw that is closest to that snug bolt. That snug bolt I'm going to call the pivot bolt. Got to get a little more motion out of there. So on the pivot bolt, back a little more. Okay, I don't know how much you can see from there. I'll move you in a little closer so you can see whenever I'm going to take you to the side actually. Whenever you're using a test indicator it's very important that the stylus is not at a real steep angle. We don't want the stylus like that. We want it about 10, 12 degrees. Okay, I don't know if you can see, there's still a little gap there, but I'm going to take that gap out in a second. All right, so now test indicator is set up. Let's see how good I can get this guy here and not get in the way too much. Okay, I'm going to put the zero right up there at the top. And now what I'm going to do is using the y-axis, I am going to zero the indicator. Okay, zeroed. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sweep all the way down to this side watching that gauge. Now it's growing. I need to be paying attention to that. The needle is going up. So what does that mean? I need to be able to interpret that needle. That means that this face of the vice jaw is towards me. That, that stylus was deflecting. Okay. What I need to do now is I need to tap this side back till the needle gets to zero. And we do that on the front of the vice. That being the pivot side, I hit this side. goes back to zero. Sweep all the way back 
to the original side, the pivot side. And once again, go back down to that Y axis and zero the gauge. And now we're going to repeat that motion again. Sweep to the other side. Now notice it's not moving as much. We're making progress. Tap back to zero. And always choke up on the hammers. You're not a, a, a carpenter framer. You don't need to swing it like a, like a sledge or anything. Come back to the other side. Okay, so when I came back to this side, the needle deflected less than a thousandths. So anytime over six inches, we have less than one thousandths of run out, we're good. So now we need to tighten them. So now I take my torque wrench, which is set to 40 foot pounds, and I tighten this bolt. And I go to the other side and tighten that bolt. Now we're just going to verify one more time. Take a good look at that gauge and sweep. Fantastic. So that's how we square a vise.